We're back together again for a new recipe. Yeah. What's going on, Nana? Hey, I'm working on another recipe. Tuscan chicken. Yeah, can I help? Yes, you can. I'd love to have you help. Okay, let's take our lid off. All right, and so this is a very easy recipe. It's not gonna take a whole lot. It takes one third cup of heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of chicken broth. Then we have some spices. So in this bowl, what we added was two teaspoons of cornstarch, okay? And then we wanna make sure when we put it in there, we mix it up really, really well so it doesn't clump. And then I have one teaspoon of garlic, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of paprika, and one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. I put black pepper. So oh, that's a lot of spices. That is a lot of spices, isn't it? But it's gonna taste so yummy. So Paige is gonna add that. Look at all those colors. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add is a half of a cup of, and I wanna show you these. These are sun-dried tomatoes, and I actually have the kind that's not in oil. I have just the dried. So you can use either kind you want. I wouldn't add too much oil into this recipe if you use the ones packed in oil, but it's a half a cup. And I don't have it heaping, just a half of a cup. You mean this is tomato? That is dried tomatoes, yes. Wow. And then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. And we're adding a fourth a cup of Parmesan. It might be stinky. And I'm gonna have Paige stir it before we put our chicken in best part of it and this recipe i did 10 ounces of chicken uh, this is a smaller recipe than typically it'll definitely feed one person um, and we will serve it over pasta so 10 ounces of diced chicken and she wants me to do it this time so here we go 10 ounces of diced chicken and we will get that our hands washed we'll get that stirred up i'm gonna cook i'm gonna start out cooking this for three hours today um, and because everybody's crock pot's different and I want to make sure with the milk in there that everything works out fine. So I'm going to do that and then we'll be right back after it's done. Watch our next video to see us make pe pickled peppers. 